All right, everybody. Good to see you all here. Hope you're all having a fantastic Tuesday. Ah, uh, nice day out here. A little bit milder. The I think it's starting to head towards spring. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So it's March 1st. Can't believe it. March 1st. So when March comes around, I'm always thinking two weeks before a really um, warmer spring-like weather start to happen. We usually, sometimes we usually get a, a snowstorm in March. That's just part of living in Canada. <laughs> so, like I said before, um, every month I'm going to do an illuminated letter. So, uh, today it's going to be an M. And... I have a few of these books out here and I'm going to use these just to look through them to see what kind of stuff I'm going to make my letter out this time. Hey, Lori, good to see you. Oh, do you really? Uh, next week, that could, that I don't believe in um, <laughs> looking at forecasts any more than a day ahead. <laughs> They change so drastically. It's crazy. Hey, Dot. Good to see you. Kathleen, awesome. Yeah, first, oh, March 1st. Crazy how oh, time flies, right? So I have this the Illuminated Letter one uh, book. I really do love this if you want to get some ideas. And then you can work right in this book if you want. Or you could um, use it on another piece of paper. And then I had this one I showed you a few streams back. And this is just uh, the different types of um, Illuminated Letters like Gothic, Roman, that type of thing. And it gives you the alphabet and some ideas. And then um, I have, I love Art Nouveau. Always have. I guess we need some snow though. Oh, do you? You haven't got a lot of snow there? We have, we have had a lot of, well, I guess average what we typically get. But the one thing here is we didn't get a, um, a thaw, February thaw at all. So it uh, could be interesting in this spring once it starts to thaw. <laughs> um, so this is an older book because it has the CD-ROM um, that you can do. But I love Art Nouveau, just the style. Um, and I thought, well, you know, a lot of these you could use as illuminated letter to go with it. Hey, Janet. Like this here. You could put the M right in the square here if you wanted to and use this. So there's many, many ways of going about this. Or even like this here. And then put your illuminated letter over top of it. So... I like using these for ideas, reference, basically. Um, this, this one here you could do again. Um, or this here. This is cute. This almost looks like a... Mm, it's close to the shape of a um, clover. You could use that, actually, for March 1st. That might be a good idea. So we could make this cloverish. <laughs> Just change it up a bit. But it gives you ideas. Yes, these are old books. I love the I like clip art books or this is uh from um Dover. I love Art Nouveau. I used to do a lot of it in stained glass. I, do, I think I do have quite a few stained glass Art Nouveau books too, pattern books. They're fun. I just, I, there's something about the flow and the curves. It's very organic looking. There's a, a certain 
um, style to their, um, what would you call it? The, the line work is very um, similar with all, doesn't matter who the artist was. As far as Art Nouveau, there was this certain um, almost Celtic resemblance to it. You already have them? Oh. <laughs> I'll try harder next time. <laughs> See if I can find one you don't. <laughs> um, like even this here, that could be a really cool. And then you put the letter on top of it or intertwine it. And these, this, these ladies too. I just like the um, look of some of these and you could incorporate them into your illuminated letters. Why not? Because if you look at any of them, the really ornate ones of illuminated letters, some of them have like scenes in the background, that type of thing. <laughs> Please don't. I can't promise that. Uh, let's see. So I was thinking I could find something. I kind of like that one with the cloverish look. Or we could use that, just gives me the idea as far as clovers to be used in whatever I make up. Um. I like the CD-ROM. I have a CD-ROM or thing for my computer, so I can print them out, which is cool. Then I can change the shape and size and everything. Even that there. It's a, a clover. So this is how I typically work when I'm wanting to do something. I have an, um, an idea, but then I look through books to help me with that idea. What, what could I do more for the background, for what kind of foliage do I want if I want foliage, you know, that type of thing. Brings back good memories. <laughs> this one, have you got this one? <laughs> this one has some really cool, um, different, different things in here. Uh, materials, different fonts. Manuscript type. This is cute. And I didn't know that um, uh, early Middle Ages, there was only 18 letters. That's kind of cool. Just never know. I like this one here. I think this is kind of cool. Here's the M with some toadstools. I, I like the shape of the M too. So, I think that's cute. You like the D with the dolphin? I love that. Um, could do something similar, but change it up a little bit, maybe. Um, these are cute too. Kind of um, Zentangle style. 
brush letters, Japanese, watercolor, writing, stitching. The hell is always boring. You never know. It's all in what you add to it. These are kind of cool too. I liked the shapes of these. There's this one here, a little more flowery looking, and then there's this more angular. That's kind of cool too. I like that. And then, of course, this book. There's so many cool ideas in this book. And you can use um, any style of the letter. Just just uh, change it up for whatever letter you're doing. If you like a certain style, well, well that's cool. The mermaid one. Xander would love that one. Unicorns, W. There's the um, Celtic design. That's kind of cool. These cherries. That's cute too. Look at that. Little faces. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Me, me, draw, me, draw, and L. Me, draw, round, L. <laughs> never say never. You might surprise yourself. Uh, I kind of like this idea, too, of putting a scene in the background somehow. Oh, that's cute. The cat and the mouse. For the tea. F spring. There's another one with uh, kind of a sea dragon and got more of a gothic, I guess those were. Um, that's kind of uh, Celtic. But we can uh, add you know, maybe a style out of one of these and then add to it with some of the other stuff. There's those faces again. I think the O is probably the most popular one or the S. That's a nice N. You could make, make an M with that. That'd be nice for fall, November. There, there's an M. See, they have a little scene behind it. Kind of like that. Not fussy with that shape because you could, mm, I guess you could, wouldn't uh, confuse that one, but I like this one too. A little dog and a bunny rabbit but we could still put a, a scene behind here if we wanted to that might be kind of cool um you learn how to draw the alphabet lori therefore you can draw that's right janet roses and see this is the thing too is make your square whatever size because you don't have to stick to the um, the size of the M, the letter. You can make it larger. So that's kind of cool, too. I like that one. Let's keep the M. A little mouse and a cat. So... I think 
without having to look too much further. I want to do one with a scene in the back. Just a little bit. Not, nothing crazy. But I think the, I, I like this here. Or that's a nice shape M too. We don't have to put all the curly cues in it. Um, hmm. This M here. Well, let's do this one here and we'll put some kind of a scene in it. All right. So we're going to do it in this book again. And that's what we did last week. I think I'm going to use the back here for drawing. And then use this side for the painting. Or should I? I don't know. Let me think. No, I'll do this side. Okay, so I'm gonna get my pencil out and an eraser. And I think I'm going to. I'm going to frame it in just a bit, just so that, uh, let's see, one inch there, one inch from the bottom. What did I do? And I'll do an, the width of the ruler like that. And I'll stick within this. Uh... Hey, Christopher, good to see you. I see. All right. I'll bring you guys in while I draw so you can see what, unless you want to draw this. Is anyone wanting to see that? Or do you want me to bring you in closer? <laughs> I used a ruler. <laughs> um, let's see. I might have ding, uh, little curly cues on the bottom, so I'm gonna start. I think I'll do this one here. Uh, I want to make it as wide as possible because I'm gonna do the little scene in there, and so we're about. Oh, about there, I guess. So we'll curve it slightly. And this one's got a little bit more of a let's see, because it goes past here. So actually, this can be shorter. Like this goes in and then goes past there 
And about center is there. Goes up a little bit and swoops down and then curls up. Like that. And I think, um, let's see, this side's a little wider, so it goes up like this, kind of oval shape. Smaller bottom, like that. Very might make it a little bit bigger, but that's fine, like that. So we have a fair amount of um, width for the letter. Um, we could put why not? You're going to draw what I draw? Okay. Awesome. All right. So that one kind of curls up. So I'm just going to do that. And then we have the leaf here. And a little bunny rabbit sitting in the in the leaf along the stem. You could do whatever you want in this. It doesn't have to be a rabbit. It could be something else. It could be a bee. It could be a bird. Kind of a cute bunny though. So, little tail and then an oval and then kind of a littler oval right there. And then his ears kind of lay flat along the body. They're paired. And then his hind leg. And a little front leg. And then just erase the parts you don't need. And you have a bunny. There we go. And a little eyeball. And I think I'm going to put a bird here. I'm going to make one of my funny birds. We'll fill them in. <laughs> That's his eyeballs and his beak. And then just his little toes here, three toes right there. And then we'll fill them in with watercolor when we draw them in. And get rid of this. Maybe you could leave that too. Um, I just put it as a guide, but you can do whatever you want. And then let's see, we'll put a little leaf here. So it looks like it's kind of twining off the main. Thing. And there's, well, there's, the bird's going to be there, so I'm going to put one right here. 
I'm just making them up. And we can get rid of this. Put um, I'm going to put one here, a leaf. One, two, three, four, one more. I like an odd number. <laughs> Maybe right here. Like that. And make this a little bit wider. I don't know if I'm going to do this in gold or what yet. You can put some curly cues in. Why not? All right, so now let's put a little, okay, we'll have a hill here, and I'm going to um, have it connect to this side so they're not totally different. Um, let's see. Well, this one's got trees and stuff. We'll have a little river. Maybe this turns into a pond here. Um, some trees or bushes right down here, connecting it. And then a tree right here by the river. And we'll just, it's going to be a very, very simple tree. Nothing crazy. And then a little house maybe up here. A little cabin. In the woods. A little smoke. The door there. Probably a couple windows. Uh, all the string can go there. And then here, just simple, simple. Let's put some more hills in here. And then maybe, I don't know, another one there. And some bushes. That. We could put some birds in too. <laughs> Can you guys see? Or do you want me to bring you guys in a little bit? Maybe that's too bright there. <laughs> and Lori, you're funny. All right. So, um, 
just thinking of the background too. Maybe I want to color it. Do I want to put a frame on it or just leave it? Oh boy. It's the dogs upstairs. Must have the bone. I think I'm going to bring this down to. Um, maybe not. They have like three dots down here like that. A dot here. Maybe down there. I don't know. Just play. Play, play, play. See what you can dream up. Maybe I want to take outline a little area like that. That's kind of cool. that you can make it as as complicated or simple as you want and then you could do some kind of design in those areas we'll see all right let's get started we'll concentrate on the background first I think now what I think I'm going to do the outside of the letter M with gold and then probably the inside in a different color so we're going to do this in the background first and different colors of greens and whatnot I can just take this out now put this out for you to see hmm. let's get some paper or something so I don't get it all over the place so you can see my palette like that is that good or do you want me to come in closer let me know. That'll be my palette. So I have uh, Green Appetite Genuine here by Daniel Smith. I'll just put some of that down in here. I'm going to make different... Um, shades of green so we have a background so we're gonna do a lighter green a medium green and a really dark green and some of this one this is bright bright green it's a da vinci leaf green i really like this color let's see I'll put some in there, I guess. Don't need a lot of it. Yeah, paper towel. So the background will be the lightest color. You could even go into your mauves if you wanted to. So I'm going to just um, do the back. Ground with this light green. Because it's so light, I can pretty well do the whole background if I wanted to of the grass and hills in this green and then just do another application over top of a different color. 
sometimes that's easier because it gets kind of um, tricky doing the small work in a small drawing like this. So I can just go back. And I know that house is going to be fairly dark. So I'm not too worried if that gets a little bit of green on it. This here's the tree, so that can be green too. Um, so I can pretty well just go over this whole thing in green. And that's the little river. So I'm going to do this part green too, just so that I don't get confused of what's what. Uh, this here, that's part of the river there. All right. And then I can go into my, let's do the, I'm going to get my smaller brush here spotter brush. So let's go into this color first and this will be now this is still wet but I'm just going to tap in some of this in the in the uh, tree. So it's kind of blotchy looking. And I could put some of that here and there in the bushes. And then I'll add some more dark stuff too. And I'm going to add, oh, mm, nope, I'm going to dry it now. I don't want it mixing into the whole thing of green. I can take some more of that green, the medium, and this can be added to some of these hills here. And I could add a little bit more into here. The more layers you put on of even the same color, the more darker your colors will be. This could be like spotted here and there along the water edge. Could be a little bit darker. We've got bushes right there. Put some of those in on the water here and there. And I'll just go back over this area where a little bit darker. Maybe right a shadow along the two hills. Could be a, a row of hedge. And some of this dark appetite green. This is a, a fairly um, granulating one, so it looks really nice. Granulates in kind of a brown here and there. So I just added a little bit of water to my page before I put that on.
And I want it speckled. Not full color, but just kind of um, mottled looking. Kind of looks like shadows. And then underneath, um, here and there in the tree, on the bottom part of the tree, it'd be a little bit darker. Let's get some, hmm. This is cobalt blue. And I'm going to use that for a waterway. And just using the very tip of my brush. And then this here continues on to the other side. And I'll use some um, pen work, too, to emphasize stuff. Uh, I have some kind of uh, dark, almost black, that I made um, the last time. So I'm just going to take that and use it for my um, tree. Just a few and then I think the roof is going to be black. So I'll just put that in a door. And then I have to do my sky. And I'm just going to light wash that blue again, the same blue, but I'm going to leave some areas white, and those will be the clouds. Make them a little fluffy. I don't want sharp edges. <laughs> you could take your air um, towel too and just crunch it up into a shape and then just dab it. Little lighten areas. Okay. All right. So let's leave that for now and let's do the little bunny. So. I think he's going to be gray and white. I'm going to just uh, put some water on him. I'm just going to dab in. I'm going to leave his little tail white. So some of this black I made up. Um, it's along the top of his back. And just let it travel. And don't have to do a whole lot to him. Now, my funny fuzzy bird. <laughs> I'm going to just wet an area on his face. 
I'm going outside what he would typically be size-wise. And then we'll take some of that black again. And I'm just going to dab and let it bleed. So he'll be fuzzy. And just a um, clean brush, and you can take away certain areas, or if it's too much, just sop up some of that water with a damp brush. Like that. got some crazy hair there. And then we'll go in with um, pen to finish them up. All right, so we'll let him dry up a bit. That's what he looks like so far. <laughs> so we'll let him dry and then we'll add to him again. All right. So the leaves can be very simple. You can I like to load my brush with a mix of two different greens and then just uh, do kind of a mix color. It's not, um, it's a little different color each one by just adding a few different colors to your brush and then just going on in it. That way they're all a little different. I think I'm going to, well, let's see, might use my um, clean brush watercolor pens, markers, whatever they're called, and do the uh, swirly things. A little bit more. All right, let's try that.
now I have to decide what how I want to do the center of this. Do I want to bring in a new color? I want the gold. I have to remember where I want the gold. So do I want the gold in the center or on the edge? Hmm. I think I'm going to do the gold in the center and the edge is going to be green. Although that's green there. Let me think. No, I think I'm going to keep it on the edge like I thought of before. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more on the bird. I'm doing dark blue center gold edge. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a good one too. Hmm. I'm just going to do some a little bit more on the bird around the edge of them. I just put a little bit of streaks in water and then just just adding on the edge of them. He's a fuzzy little guy. <laughs> Oh, I missed a leaf. Missed one. Okay. I think I will get my spotter brush here. So I have more control and do the stems. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do it in the green, dark green. Holding my breath. Put some veins in. Do the curly cue. Yeah. 
if you have um, the Zig Clean Brush in the same green, then use those. I think I'm going to do some more little additions to that. So I'm going to just add little curly cues here and there. Just because. <laughs> it's good practice. Okay, so to do the center. I think I'm going to do thinking, <laughs> I'm trying to picture in my head. So we could do a pattern if I'm that crazy. <laughs> um, let me see. Let's see if I got it. Because it'd be easier with these here. Let's see what we got here. There's two greens here. And do I have a dark green? So the light green. That one might work. Let's see what color it is. That's not bad. I think I'm going to do it with this green. And then I'm going to put um, so this is kind of a olive green. I want it fairly dark. I can take some of this and put it in on the tree too, just to bring that color into the other areas. So that's no problem. And get it as even as I can.
I have to hold my breath when I'm doing this. Then I'll take um, some gouache, maybe, in a lighter color and go over top. It's a pattern of some sort. Or maybe just... Uh, Now I could take this and put it on that tree. Mm. Don't know what that was supposed to be. Huh. I'm going to put a few little, it's got a beautiful point on these things, so you could actually use it to your advantage going to put a few little stems here, here and there. Like that. And let's get some of that green. I missed a spot. I don't know how, but good. You're here. There. Okay. And let's try that and then use our pen. Right. Zero three, and I'm going to do the little bunny, just outline some of it, not all of it, but some of it, just to so you're able to see what it is. Oh, but there. And then this little guy, the big eyes. And then Put some fuzzy marks in. So those little wings.
here my big eyes big sad eyes it's toes I need a white. Oh, thanks, Christopher. It's fun to do. Just experiment. That's what your uh, art sketchbooks are for. Just to have some fun. See what you can do. See what you can dream up. Highlight on his eyeball, and that might be a little bit thick. There, like that. And let's see, do I have a yellow pencil crayon? See if I can get this in. Um, I think it needs to be. Speak. And that. Then we can also just um, put some dark lines on the bottom parts of some of these leaves so it looks like um, a shadow. So he'd have a shadow under his foot. Even under the Vine here can have a bit of a shadow just underneath. Wow. Hey, Zandra. Okay, I will. Hope you're feeling good. Good. And 
then we can just put a few little veins in here and there. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just to emphasize your leaf, give a little bit more detail. Um, Funny. All right, so I'm going to um, outline the edge of this, and then I'll put the gold in. So I'm still using the 0.3, I think it is. Have to, it's easier for me if I move my book. So Now, naturally, these illuminating letters that I'm doing aren't like what you see in the, <laughs> some people do. Like, this is just for fun, so if you really wanted to, like, do a, be real serious about it, this would probably take you days. I just like to have fun with it. It's a loose um, rendition. Just taking off some of the pencil lines. There it is so far. Okay, so I can um, now I can go in and probably well, let's put the little house in a little bit more. Just put a little bit of smoke in here. Yeah. And then just a few lines in the background just to show that there's 
hills. You could think of it as um, putting in just roughly some shadowed areas with the pen. And that way you don't, doesn't get too um, cartoonish looking, I guess you could say. Some bushes. I like just outlining some of the um, colors of green for the bush. And then it just kind of shows that there's um, layers. If you can see that. Maybe some sticks. Mm, let's see. Let's put some more tree limbs in here. Make it a little darker in certain areas. Maybe on the bottom show the layers of the tree or the leaves. That. It's suggestive very sketchy but it works it uh, a lot of times your mind's eye will fill in the blanks so you don't have to get really detailed but your mind will fill that in uh, hey barbara good to see you Joan? Mm, I think it's that's all I want in there. You can put in as much detail as you want. Okay, now let's put, um, hey Jasper, let's put some gold in. I'm going to use this one here. Water, let it soak in there a little bit. Um, still thinking about uh, design in here. I might take my white pen even. Who knows? We'll see. Or I could just do dots, too. Lots of different ways of doing this.
nice gold. So I'm just going to do the outline. I might have to, yeah, I'm going to use a smaller brush. If you have um, a nice gold marker, you could use that too. I love this paint though. It gets the, um, there's no name on it, but I think it's um, the Japanese one that everyone got a while back. This was gifted to me by Jilly. I like these spotter brushes. They're really nice. There's more control with them. They're a little stiffer and shorter bristle. But they do hold quite a bit of uh, pigment. Is that bright enough for you? Let me see. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. You have to relax when you do this. You don't uh, mess it up. Now I'm going to just go back over the little feet of the bird. I'm not going to paint around those toes. This is fairly opaque paint. I might have to put a little bit more black into, but that's fine.
Sorry, can't paint and talk. I mean, this detail stuff is going on. <laughs> Difficult. I'm going to do those dots in gold too. Let's uh, dry that up. See what else? Let's fix those lines up a bit. I'm just outlining the inside here, just where it, I forgot to put that line in there anyway, so. And then just go around the outside edge. Just so that it looks cleaner. And this one too. Just tidies it up.
right. Go on here. There, it just tidies it up. All righty. So, I think I'm going to go around the circles, little dots too. going to put that in there. Get this one. Just needed a little something there. That looks good. All right. Now, what to do with the centers, the center of this? I think I may just go across with a gold pen marker. Let's see if this is the same gold. And just do um, triangles maybe or dots. Let's see. Is it the same gold? Let's see what it looks like. Um, hmm. Oh, I got a black pen on that one, I think. Right. 
Und Here, could leave it like that. Um, I'm gonna put a line down there. All right, I think that's it. Just looking. Is there anything else I could do? snail <laughs> why not and we'll do him a light cream maybe let's see Look at those And then maybe gold body. I'll just fix it once it dries.
Okay, let's try that. And where did it, there it is. I'm going to give him a smile. Why not? <laughs> oh, my balls. Yeah, maybe he's speckled. Mm. Or we could just. There. My little snail. Gotta have a snail. <laughs> Great. I think he's done. I think it's done. I, don't, I like that. I think that turned out. It's not quite the same gold, but it's close enough, I think. But it's cute. Now, I could actually hold that thought. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some of that blue that we used. And I'm going to have it coming out here. The river. And then I'll just Just let it um, disappear on the edge. Just makes it a little more um, like it, it's not floating. Just put a little bit darker in here where it comes out. And maybe get in here. yeah yeah finished it <laughs> sometimes I just need something all right I think it's done now I could put the rest of March right in March right here if I want to Thanks, Jasper. Thanks, Kathleen. Joan.
today is the first. So three, one, twenty-two. And it's done. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll give yours a try. Get out some books. Does You know, you just mix a bunch of stuff together. Find a, um, a letter you like. Make it bigger. And then um, add something behind it. Now, if you don't want to draw something, what you could do, if you want to do this, um you could do it with collage too you could cut out an actual gold m if you wanted to and place it on top of a uh, landscape picture and then just add to it there's so many ways of, of playing with these but i want to try and keep them um in watercolor thanks thought thanks jasper thanks christopher yeah it's just fun to play um that was last week and there was february Well, yeah. All right, so I'll let you guys go and uh, get your sketchbooks out or your art journals, whatever you're playing in at the moment. I'm not done yet, but I'll try and remember to post. On oh, awesome, Janet. Thanks. <laughs> okay, yep, find your watercolors. Just play. Play in your sketchbook because that's your safe place to be experimenting you don't have to show anybody but that's where you learn put your thoughts down and just play so i'll let you guys go and you have a fantastic rest of the week and we'll see you on thursday at one o'clock eastern and uh not sure what i'm going to be doing could be mixed media could be another painting something springish maybe we'll see so have a fantastic day everyone and bye for now